Hi friends, welcome back. In this video, I am going to give you most important questions from the general studies paper one geography subject. So guys, let us start. What I have done is that I have divided the geography questions into various sections. The first, I will give you important questions from geomorphology. In geomorphology, Earth's interior is very important this year. What are the direct and indirect sources of studying Earth's interior? What are S waves and P waves? How do they help in understanding the Earth's interior? can be a probable question next earth core earth core what is earth core what is uh, uh, the significance of earth core then why is china drilling one of the deepest holes inside india why india is also drilling an earth hole okay so this earth hole why drilling can be a question next why so many volcanoes are found in iceland iceland volcanic eruptions very news so in this they can ask you the concept of sea floor spreading very important sea floor spreading they can ask you coming to landforms landforms glacial landforms are very important glacial lakes glacial lakes very high chance let me tell you the most important question from this landform is a glacial lake glacial lake outburst okay is a very important hazard in the himalayan regions okay next land subsidence and infrastructure development in hilly regions there can be a question sea floor spreading i have already told you so this is the geomorphology section focus on the sea floor spreading very very important okay coming to the climatology in climatology heat waves and warm nights what is this phenomenon of heat waves what is the phenomenon of warm nights what causes them okay next is the urban heat island effect what is urban heat island effect this question has already come in 2013 this will be again repeated this year next el nino la lina what is the impact on india indian ocean dipole what is the impact on the indian monsoon then western disturbance again very important western disturbance please do prepare western disturbance then a theme which is important this year is cyclones why more cyclones in bay of bengal compared to arabian sea why off late arabian sea cyclones are becoming more frequent what is this cyclone asna which started in the land generally cyclones start in the sea but why this cyclone started in the land okay depression started in the land so this can be a very important question why no no cyclone during the monsoon season why no cyclone during the monsoon season what are cloud burst why do they occur in the mountains okay why do they occur in the mountains what are flash floods this can be probable question all this i have discussed in my dps classes the 90 days classes for the mains examination please go and check it from the agriculture sector guys resources agriculture sector millets <coughs> what are millets why they are important why millets are called super crops what is the geographical distribution and consumption of millets okay so millets is a very important thing after millets oil seeds okay what are the geographical uh, distribution of oil seeds in india why is india importing oil seeds why india can't grow oil seeds in india okay this can be a question another crop which is important this year is cotton please prepare cotton what are the regions where cotton is grown what are the conditions where cotton is grown why cotton production has dipped in india that can be a question next maize why india is turning out to be a maize importer maize importer why because of the biofuel debate biofuel versus food security next shifting cultivation what are the issues related to shifting cultivation next in the resources critical mineral is the most important theme definitely one question on critical minerals what are critical minerals why are they important what is the geographical distribution of critical minerals in the world why india imports critical mineral is there critical mineral available in india or not lithium resources lithium is a very important resource called white gold where in earth lithium is found okay then africa resources of africa africa is turning out to be a country where a lot of critical minerals are found cobalt was asked in the prelims examination so in future copper cobalt all this okay a lot of importance next deep sea mining very important i don't know why upsc is ignoring this i am giving you uh, a very high chance question on deep sea mining please prepare what are the challenges in the deep sea mining what are the environmental challenges next blue economy next hydropower in the northeast and indian himalayas very high chance what are the challenges guys seismically active region and you are like building hydropowers okay you know what are the difficulties what are the challenges and there are other challenges also this i have discussed in my classes next geothermal energy can be a question geothermal energy very important tidal energy very very important wave energy tidal energy next you can see examine the challenges before india as india is becoming the most populous country so population and resources 
what is the dynamics population and resources what is overpopulation what is underpopulation what is optimal population okay malthus theory of population demographic transition demographic dividend and next aging population again a very important generally we talk about demographic dividend but no one is talking about aging population what is the challenge of aging population in india because you see recently government has said that above 70 years we are giving free medical services okay so aging population is becoming a big problem for india so that can be a question next water crisis guys most of the cities in india are facing water crisis ground water challenge because of the agriculture or over what overuse of water that can be also a question then antarctica antarctica treaty guys this year is 40 years of india's polar mission 40 years of india's polar mission so india's mission to antarctica and the antarctica treaty very 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 important generally this topic will be ignored by most of the candidates please do prepare coming to location of industry guys this year chip industry or semiconductor industry what are the locational factors why taiwan is one of the uh, like uh, leader or singapore is one of the leader taiwan and singapore is a leader why India can or cannot become a semiconductor hub. Question can come. Then jute mill. Then textile mill. What are the locational factors for jute mills? What are the text location factors for textile mills? Textile mill is very, very important because Bangladesh issue. Bangladesh issue textile mills. Okay. Next, uh, transshipment ports. What are they? Why are they important? Then Great Nicobar project. Why they are building a transshipment port in Great Nicobar project? What is the geographical location of Great Nicobar? Okay. Why they are important? What is the uh, strategic location of Great Nicobar? Okay, next mining regions in India. What is rat hole mining? What is illegal mining? Okay, next dedicated freight corridor. Discuss its significance. Very important. Dedicated freight corridor. Very and waterways. Waterways and dedicated freight corridors. Very important. Waterways already been asked. So question can be on dedicated freight corridor. Then pastoralism. What is pastoralism? What are the threats to pastoralism? Very important. Generally, people will ignore pastoralism. You can expect a question on pastoralism okay the northern sea route may be asked south china sea dispute may be asked okay next, next last topic you can see here important geographical phenomena. guys this year earthquake why so many earthquakes in japan why so many tsunamis okay in japan why indonesia has so many volcanoes okay this can be a question all is can be answered through ring of fire and the plate tectonics next uh, why himalayas are vulnerable to various disasters why building dams is difficult in Himalayas or challenging in Himalayas? What is Arctic amplification? Why Aravalis are important? Why Western Ghats are important? Aravalis and Western Ghats. Okay, you can expect a question on them. Then land desertification. Very, very important. Land desertification. What is the status of land desertification in India? What are the factors leading to land desertification? What are the steps taken to uh, protect the land desertification? Then glaciers. Why are Himalayan glaciers melting? What are the implications of that? Guys, Hindu Kush mountain is in news. So the climate change is impacting the Hindu Kush mountain. Hindu Kush mountains are called the river feeder of most of the rivers in the South Asian region. So this can be a question. Then coral reefs is very important. Amazon forest is very important. Next, glacial lake outflow. Glacial lake outflow, very, very important. Okay, so Himalayan Hindu Kush, I have told. Western Ghats, I have told. Liver and river linking. Okay, question can be on river linking. These are some of the important topics and themes. Just in the last week, you revise them. If I can sum up, okay, sea floor spreading, Iceland, then uh, Japan, why more earthquakes, why tsunamis, why uh, Indonesia has more volcanoes, then Aravalis, then Western Ghats, then Himalayas, the Northeast hydro projects, then uh, the millets, then the oil seeds, then the cotton, then the critical minerals. Okay, these are some of the important themes you can get this year's mains examination. Thank you guys. Bye-bye. Take care.